Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to apply shaders in Unity on SDK2. Really quick tutorial, just very basic shaders that you can put on your avatar. So with the avatar that we used in the last video, it's very simple and if you try to change the shader, it's just going to change it for the f whole entire avatar. But I will demonstrate that anyway so you can see. So to create a shader, a very normal one, we'll just go to assets and we'll right click and we'll hit create material. And here in the inspector, we can change a bunch of properties on this material. You can also rename it. We'll rename it to YouTube shader. That's fine. Okay. And you'll notice this down here. It's just this like grayish white ball. It's just standard, but we can change the color of it up here. You can go right here. You'll notice that the ball is changing colors. So I can drag this onto my avatar and it will change the color of it. You can also drag it onto objects and other things as well, which I will pull out this. This is a monster energy gun, but um, the reason it's pink is because it has no textures on it. So normally in this folder they give us a monster energy texture that we can drag on there. If I click, select it, there we go. Okay, we can drag these textures on here that come with it. And so that's what you would do to finish the gun. But you can drag anything onto there. So if you wanted to drag the red, you could do that as well. But it's just that simple with shaders. You just create the shader with the material and select it. And then you'll drag it onto things. So a more realistic example of what you're going to do, though, is I'm going to put another model of a stormtrooper into the scene to show you a little bit better about what it would really look like. And yes, he's enormous, but that's okay. So let's say you wanted to make the stormtrooper have some metallic type of stuff on him. So we're going to create a material, a new one. It's right here. I'm not going to name it anything because I don't care. And to change this shader from standard, because right now we're just on standard, which just means you can change colors, but we want to do something more intricate. You can actually import packages of shaders that have a lot more advanced things, and that's what I'm about to activate right now. I'm going to go to Custom and do Object Shader Metallic FX, which this is going to be a metallic type of shader, which I can drag it onto my avatar. You might be wondering, Savvy, how did you get that metallic shader? Because I can't find it in my Unity. So I got this shader with a huge shader pack on VRC Mods. I suggest you download it. You can also get the Stormtrooper uh, model if you want that, it's right here, but the Shader Pack Part 1 is what I'm referencing in this video, and it includes a bunch of just random stuff that you can play around with, and it's absolutely free. And so, this is just one of the many effects that you can do. And notice how when I click on the shader, I can actually change the color of the metal as well. If you go to Main Tint and Metallic Tint, and these kinds of things, you can change the color to your liking. So, whatever floats your boat. And um, this is just one of many, as I said. I also have other shaders on here, like I have this My Lo-Fi, which this is called My Glass. And you can do like water effects and all sorts of stuff. Like here's one that looks like water. If I press play, we can go into play mode so you can see it move. There we go. And you can, over to the right, it may look complicated, but this is just all the settings for the shader that you can play around with, like the strength. So you can see you can make it look really distorted or make it look good. <laughs> you can also change the color. So if you want red water, you want white water, blue water, purple water, green water, etc. But that's basically all you do. And don't forget to get out of play mode if you do that because sometimes it doesn't save your settings. So, But that's essentially what shaders do and how you apply them to very just the very basics. Um, depending on the type of shader, um, it'll do different effects, so there's some shaders that are very uh, powerful in the sense that they can like, they're more of a screen shader, and if you want to see an example of that, it would probably be best to check out my gestures video, which I'll probably do pretty soon, but if you want to see a quick example, you can go to your hierarchy, right click, 3D object, sphere, and we're going to put this to the center. And we're going to make this very big, so we're going to make the scale 20-20-20. It's a very big ball, and you might be wondering, why, why'd you make this savvy? Well, hold on. So, j this sphere, like any other object, we can apply a shader to. Like, here's some metallic. 
here's red. But in this case, we're going to ap apply a very complicated shader, because why not? A very intricate one that can over-render your screen, apparently. So we're going to go to Custom, we're going to go to Screen, Single Image, and we're going to click Generators. It's right here, and I'm going to drag it onto here. You'll notice that this shader is a lot more complex in terms of just how cool it is, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to press play to go into play mode. And you'll see that this is a very neat looking shader because you can go inside of it and look around and it over renders everything. So you, may, you might be wondering, well, how do I get this on my avatar? I will explain that in another video with the gestures, but this just kind of shows you what shaders and materials can do themselves and what they're capable of. So um, I'm going to delete this sphere because it's blocking everything. But that's just a very basic tutorial on how you apply shaders and what they can do. And as I said, you'll want to import shader packages. You'll import it like anything else. And um, have fun with it. Play around with it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.